Those blue eyes shall eventually take everything from you. These are the words Momoshiki uttered to Boruto moments before he faded away. And ever since that moment, we've always wondered which blue eyes Momoshiki was referring to. Was it eyes of Boruto? Was it eyes of Boruto's father Naruto? Or was it referring to a certain cyborg who was later responsible for Boruto losing everything by casting omnipotence? Well, at face value, the cyborg would likely be the answer. But what if I told you that the most obvious answer isn't the correct answer in this case? What if I told you that Boruto himself was responsible for what happened? You see, aside from Momoshiki looking directly into Boruto's blue eyes while imparting this prophecy, we also have direct statements confirming this to be the case. Now, a lot of people miss this due to all the crazy stuff that happened in chapter 78, but moments after Kawaki slashed Boruto's right eye and fled the scene, Momoshiki appeared to Boruto and said, You've lost one blue eye. I think you know this, but this is just the beginning. You'll go on to lose everything in very short order. Now even with this small piece of evidence, we could just end the video right here because by Momoshiki associating Boruto's lost eye with the prophecy, it's clear that he wasn't referring to Ada's even though she was the one who caused omnipotence to take place. Well that's if you believe Ada is the one who caused what led to omnipotence taking place. You see this might be uncomfortable for some based on who you personally hold responsible for what led up to the events of chapter 79. But if you look at it from the perspective of the story being told, it's clear that the writer believes that Boruto's actions or lack thereof is responsible for his current situation. We see that in the fact that he takes full responsibility for Kawaki's actions, saying the one who drove Kawaki into this corner was none other than me. He's got his own sense of justice, he tried to resolve the Momoshiki situation even with the risk of dad hating him, resulting in him killing his own brother. It's all due to my weakness, I can finally see that now. What Boruto is saying here is that Kawaki only had to do what he did due to Boruto's own weaknesses, which could be interpreted in multiple ways. One would be the fact that Boruto refused to die. And what I mean by this is that Boruto did indeed put the safety of everyone first and allowed Kawaki to take his life initially. However, after he was revived by Momoshiki, he no longer wanted to take that route. Even though he knew the possibility of Momoshiki taking control of his body and taking the life of everyone around him was still there. And this did indeed happen again after Kawaki slashed Boruto's eye atop the Akage monument. He simply couldn't control Momoshiki or suppress his power, even though he himself wasn't low on chakra, he just had a non-fatal wound. So this event proved that Kawaki was right about Boruto being a ticking time bomb that could indeed go off at any moment, thus ending the life of someone they both care about. So Boruto's unwillingness to do what needs to be done and fighting to stay alive led to Kawaki sealing away Naruto and making that wish upon Ada's omnipotence. It led to Boruto losing everything. Now let's be clear, Boruto didn't do this because he was selfish and just didn't care about what happened if Momoshiki came forth. The truth is that Boto was just being naive, naive in believing that he could control or channel Momoshiki's power after becoming 100% Otsutsuki, which ended up not being the case. By the way, this leads back into the blue eyes prophecy as well, since being blue eyed is actually an idiom which refers to naivete. This means lacking experience, wisdom, or even judgment. So when Momoshiki says Boto's blue eyes will take everything from him, he's referring to Boto's naive belief that he has the power power to stop what's happening. Momoshiki even references this in chapter 72 by telling Boto that he's irresponsible after telling Hinata that he would come home, once again bringing up the prophecy rapidly approaching. And he was right by the way, since Boto never went home again, at least on screen, since he went to stay with Ada and Kawaki on the outskirts of the village. So in a sense, the term blue eyes in this context would be a double entendre, which is a particular way of wording that is devised to have a double meaning of which one is typically obvious, whereas the other often conveys a message. So in this case, we have Boto's literal blue eyes, and then also the deeper meaning behind it, which would be his naivete. Now I did say that there are two ways to interpret this. The other way would be him not being strong enough to not be in the situation in the first place. This is why Boto himself says that he can't let this end as brother killing brother. He has to get a lot stronger. By the way, this perception of Kawaki's annoyance at Boto not being strong enough to suppress Momoshiki was first shown in chapter 54 with his second second emergence, and then later again in chapter 65, which is when Bota tapped further into the Karma Seal's power. 
So Boruto's current goal is to get strong enough to the point where he can fully suppress Momoshiki and by doing so he would no longer need to take his own life to keep everyone safe. That's why we haven't seen Boruto use the Karma Seal since 2 Blue Vortex began, even after getting pressed by the Tentel's enemy. He clearly believes that doing so is one of if not the way to take care of the Momoshiki problem. Now with that being said, you still have some who'd still lean into the Drogon being the blue eyes Momoshiki was referring to, though there's one big issue with this theory which is the fact that Momoshiki said blue eyes, not blue eye, which means two eyes instead of one. So the Jogan can't possibly be the answer since Boruto only has one Jogan, which wasn't even a factor in Boruto losing everything per the events of the manga. And even if you want to argue that it's the Jogan in conjunction with his normal blue eye, it still wouldn't make sense since the normal blue eye being there would imply that it played a part in him losing everything. So then what would be the point of having a Jogan being a part of that, it just doesn't make sense. Then again, if I'm gonna play devil's advocate, I guess you could argue that it's implying that he lost everything both due to him being naive and also due to the Jogan's effect on destiny. But for that to be the case, the Jogan would have needed to be present, which it wasn't, so it just doesn't line up. Now in the grand scheme of things, there are others you could blame for this happening. One such person would be Naruto himself since he's the one who took Kawaki in. He's the one who literally nurtured the relationship that Kawaki went so far to protect. By the way, I'm not saying that Naruto did anything wrong by keeping Kawaki in the village and building a close relationship. If he didn't do that and didn't take in Kawaki, the world would have literally ended since Ishiki would have gotten his vessel. And let's say he did take in Kawaki and didn't foster that good relationship, and let's say he kept him locked up like a prisoner, Kawaki would have grown to hate the village instead and would eventually lead to the village getting destroyed. Of course, this ended up happening anyway based on the time skip preview. So definitely what Naruto did was absolutely the correct decision. Now then we have Sasuke who literally brought Boruto to Momoshiki's dimension, which is why Boruto ended up getting the karma seal in the first place, right? So in this case, Boruto ended up saving everyone and putting an end to Momoshiki, but that's also what led to him getting the seal. So as you can see, a lot of people had a hand in what led to the omnipotence taking place. So now Boruto is seen as the Okage killer while Kawaki is the Okage's son. Now obviously this led to Boruto losing some of his past connections, such as his home, his friends, and some of his loved ones. However, one thing I want to point out is that it's far from everything. In fact, this is all temporary. Naruto and Hinata aren't dead, they're just sealed in a dimension where time doesn't flow. They will return at some point, this is shonen. In fact, not a single character died or was damaged in this entire fiasco. Everyone is totally fine. Not a single person on the good side of things died as a result of this or really any action taken by Momoshiki throughout the entire series. So Boruto didn't really lose everything, he still has Sasuke based on what we saw in the pre-timeskip, he still has Sarda and Sumire on his side, he apparently has Kashin Koji and Himawari still defending him. Like he objectively didn't lose everything even temporarily, which is what omnipotence is. It is just temporary. No matter what they say, it won't last forever. It will be reversed or fixed by the end of this show or even before then. The funny thing is that they laid out the groundwork for this to take place in chapter one of Two Blue Vortex, which would simply be for them to make another wish, which was stated by Ada. So Momoshiki's grand plan did fail spectacularly. And this is because Boruto knows that he didn't really lose anything deep down. He said this himself. I haven't lost a single thing. A true loss would have been if someone actually died, but no one did. This of course sent Momoshiki into a frenzy, having bro looking all disheveled and crazy while screaming at Boruto, to the point where he's actually begging Boruto to give him control of his body. Like that would actually work, you know, it's crazy. Now not to mention the fact that he still doesn't have control of Boruto's body three years later, which means that it's likely just never going to happen. So based on the prophecy itself, I don't see much happening, Boruto isn't going to lose anything more going forward, maybe a few characters die, but when it comes to losing everything, that prophecy has played out already and we saw what took place, so now Boruto is working to get those things back. So yeah, that's basically what this video is about, just pointing out the fact that the prophecy itself about the blue eyes was referring to Boruto being naive and the decisions he made that led up to what Kawaki did in chapter 78 and also Ada of course. So no, it's not referring to Ada's blue eyes when he said the blue eyes will take everything from Boruto because she did indeed use the ability, it's her ability, but she's not the one who caused this to take place, right? So it's definitely referring to Boruto as the story has stated multiple times. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you still think it's the Jogan or do you think it's Naruto 
Naruto's eyes because you know I saw a theory about that as well. I don't think it's Naruto's eyes of course but you know if you believe that to be the case let me know why in the comment section down below. But yeah with that being said I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.